Hey everyone, Daniel from NAC here. Today I wanted to show you how to connect records to the logged in user. So today I'll be working out of the CRM portal app. It's based off of one of our template apps. And if you wanted to take a look at that yourself, you can find that on our website. Um, you, there's a bunch of different templates for different types of apps that can be built, but the one I'm specifically working out of is called the custom CRM. So right here, so you'll be able to actually view um, a little bit about what the app's about and even install it on your own account to play around with it. I'm also working out of a specific knowledge base article that's already written, and this is available in our knowledge base at learn.nac.com. It's called the same name, just show records connect to the logged in user. And I'll make sure to link both of these resources along with the video so you can check it out yourself. Okay, so let's go back into the app we have here. So as you start to build your app, you might start off just showing all of your records. Maybe you have a single page. Uh, for example, we have contacts in this app. Maybe we have a single page that's just showing all contacts. Maybe it has a login for all of your users to log in and see. Or maybe it's public and you don't even have users yet. But as you start to use your app more, you might realize that it can be a little bit more efficient with what data it's showing. Um, for example, maybe you want sales reps to log in and only see their records. Maybe you want to add more privacy and security so you don't show all records or all, all contacts in this case to everyone in your company or, or your team. So what we want to do here is we want to actually start adding some separate user roles uh, and user records so your users can log in if you haven't done that yet. And then we'll want to connect those users to these records so you can make assignments. So for example, you might want to have sales reps that are connected to contacts or leads, like in this case. Maybe you want to have customers that are connected to their own invoices and records and you want them to log in and see their own records. Maybe you want employees to be able to log in and see their connected assigned jobs for the day. So before we get started, you'll want to make sure you have user roles enabled in your app. This app already has user roles enabled, but if you don't have them enabled yet, you can enable them from this section in your schema, or you can go to your settings, and then you go to user logins, and you'll be able to enable users from this part of your settings as well. All right, so let's go back to the schema. And the first thing we want to do here is add a new user role for sales rep. So in this case, we want to add a sales rep user role that can connect to our contacts. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. I'm going to call it sales reps. And there we have our first user role. And it starts off with some basic fields and these will work fine for right now. Now the next thing we want to do, we've created this user role, but we actually need to create specific users that can log in within this user role. So we're going to do that by adding records to the user role. You can either click on records over here in the side or in the top menu right here. Right now we don't have any records, so let's just add, add it, go ahead and add a few. All right, so now we have two test sales reps added. We have John Smith and Jane Doe. And now we want to make sure that these sales reps are connected to the contacts in the contacts object. So we're going to go over to the contacts object, and we need to add a connection field. So let's leave the record section and go up to the schema section so we can add the connection. We're going to go over to the connection section over here, add a new connection. What other records do you want to connect contacts to? In this case, we want to connect them to sales reps. How will contacts connect to those sales reps? Well, each contact connects with one sales rep and each sales rep connects with many contacts. Let's add that connection. All right, so you see our connection field is added down here. I'm going to pull it up here a little bit just so it's easier for us to access. All right, so now that we've added this connection field between contacts and sales reps, it's created the opportunity to connect these records. So now we'll actually need to go into the records and we'll need to make sure each contact is assigned to a specific sales rep. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's do a couple for Jane. And now we'll do a couple for John. And if you're doing this on your app with a lot of records, it is possible to bulk import these records to fill these in, um, even do batch updates if multiple, uh, multiple records are connected to a single person. Okay, so now we have our contact records and each contact record is connected to a specific uh, sales rep. So next we want to come over to our pages section and this is where we will start building a login page that only sales reps can log into where they can see those specific contact records that are connected to them. 
So first thing we need to do is we add, an, add a new login page. So let's add a new page here. We want to add a login page. We want to limit permission to specific user roles and we want to choose our sales reps. Let's just call this my contacts, add the page. Okay, so we're going to show a table of contacts. And now it's going to ask me which contacts do I wanna show? Do I wanna show all contacts? Or do I wanna show contacts connected to a specific record? So in this case, I want to select contacts connected to the logged in sales rep and continue. And these are just some additional options about adding additional um, edit links or details page links. And I want to make the view name called my contacts. Oh. And I want to add this table. All right, and that's it. Now we've added our my contacts table. All right, now our my contacts page is set up. So let's review what we did. So we started in the schema section of the builder. We made sure that we had user roles enabled on our app. Then we went ahead and added a new sales rep user role. From there, we went into the records for our sales reps. And we added two new sales reps in here, just some test records. Next, we wanted to make sure these sales reps were connected to their contacts. So we went over to the contacts record in the schema section of the builder. And we added in a new connection field right here. Then we took a look at our contacts records and we made sure that each contact record was assigned to a specific sales rep. Then we went over to our pages section to make sure our sales reps could log in and view their contacts. So we added a new login page so that sales reps could log in. And then we added a new table showing only contacts connected to the logged in sales rep. So now let's check this out in the live app. So here we have one page, looks like John Smith is logged in. He can, he can see his My Contacts, and you can see he has four contacts listed here. Next, you can see we're logged in as Jane Doe. She only has two contacts assigned to her. And then this was our original page, uh, and here we have our original contacts. Uh, this is just showing all contact records, not limited by uh, any particular assignments to sales reps. All right. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and let us know. Until next time, happy building.